All right, before we get started I, with the mod tool, I just wanted to give you guys some basic, you know, etiquette, I guess, for modding. The, the number one thing with the NLSC forums is that we're not going to give you original files. Um, you know, we're, we're strictly against uh, piracy of any kind. We, you know, we want to maintain a good relationship with EA and 2K officially, so we don't want to, you know, support people who are stealing their game or copying their game, whatever stance on piracy you have, it doesn't matter. We do not allow any discussion of no CD cracks, and part of that is you got to back up your own files if you mo if you edit them, or else you have to do your legal reinstall, either by re-downloading it through Steam or Amazon, wherever you bought it from, or reinstalling off the disk. Now, <laughs> every week, every day, not every day, every week, we get at least one person on the forums asking for some kind of original file because they forgot to back up. You know, one thing with a nice, one nice thing about the mod tool is that it automatically backs up the file when it uh, decompresses it. And did I just crash it? No, I didn't. Okay. So these, this cloth shorts file, um, all it contains is models for the different uh, shorts the game uses. No textures in it. Doesn't matter. It's just, I'm just using it to prove a point. When I hit open in the mod tool, this pops up for the, for the first time. If file if file is opened up, it needs to be decompressed. So it asks you. It's compressed. Do you want to decompress it? Yeah, of course. And there's a tool that automatically does this, but you, yeah, I mean, you don't need it because now the mod tool works with it. I mean, it was useful before the mod tool was supporting 2K12, but now that it does, it doesn't matter. Files decompressed. You can load the data now, and like I said, it's mostly just shorts. It's all shorts, but that's not what I care about right now. We can close out of this. What's nice is that this is the file I opened up. But it created this file right here, Shorts if dot back. This is a backup of the original uncompressed file. And when if you use the mod tool to open your files for the first time, that means you've created a backup. Now the difference, you know, the the, the issue people have when you're not creating things like I am, you're just downloading. Um, you download a modified Claw Shorts file. You know, say you made the shorts longer. That's what everyone wants to do, right? And uh, <laughs> You know, you overwrite your original file, and then you're screwed because you don't like the patch anymore, or the patch you know corrupted up your game, and then you come you know crying to us saying, hey, you know this patch screwed up my game. I need the original file. Well, I'm sorry, you should have backed up your original file, or you should have, uh, or you can just get it off your disk if you have the disk. You navigate the bin files and get it, or if you know you're really you know out of luck, you might have to re-download the entire game from Steam, which is too bad, but. You know, we take it seriously. We're not going to mess around. We don't want to support people who are downloading the game illegally. So, don't do that. <laughs> Always back up your original files if need be when you're modding or downloading um, a file that you're just testing out and you don't know if it's going to crash your game or not. And that's just some basic etiquette before I start teaching you how to modify these files. So, it's a great feature of the mod tool to create these automatic backups. I use them a lot because I screw with a lot of things up. But that's about it, so let's get into uh, actually editing these files.